He'd be sitting there racing. Oh my God, my God, my God. See that? You pull her right back. Hung up? Nope, not the thing. You got. You had to say that. Yes. No joke. Ain't lying. Take two. I'm an idiot. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? Old number seven garage. Brian and Tim here. And uh, we are back on the old 2010 shawl cart. This baby pulled her out of the woods and uh, powder coated it. Before we powder coated it, we completely put a new back half on it. Then we powder coated it. Now we're putting brand new stuff on it. So this is day like 411, 412, 0.6. Yeah, put Brian over in the corner because he wasn't working. Get back to work, boy. Isn't it fun doing all this stuff twice? <laughs> anyway, uh, leaning on this real nice hand brakes. Uh, we're putting new stuff on this old car. Yeah, really nice new stuff. We've got a lot done, which it doesn't look like. We put this roof on there so it would actually look more like a race car. But anyway, uh, this is a little build series we're doing, resurrecting this old car. So we want to welcome you to the shop. Let's dig into today's episode. All right, today's episode. We're putting on some stuff. We're trying this. I'm telling him. We're gonna try to lay some stuff on here and look professional and then try to get all that table gone full of stuff. Good. Okay. Promise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It took us like three days to figure out what size hole to drill out for these gauges. Still didn't figure it out. So if anybody knows where you can get a two and five eighths hole saw, holler at me or him. Because I can't find one. Thanks. They don't they don't they probably make one. Somebody gonna comment right now. Tell me, that guy in the back. Okay. So here's what we got. We have got long acre digital waterproof gauges. Waterproof, yes I did say that. It even tells you right there. New waterproof design. Eliminates the need to remove gauges before you wash your car. I don't know about you, but yeah, ain't, anyway. ain't nobody removes their gauges when they wash their car. But now you don't have to. And it, there is that, that, that one guy over there still, he, he takes his gauges out. Uh, and they're very, very, very resistant to vibration, heat, and moisture. Obviously, if they're waterproof, yes. They're digital. They are easy to set up. They're very customizable. Customizable? Is that a word? Sounds like a word. Okay. Um, uh, you can custom set your warning settings. They're dimmable, which I did use that because the blue light kind of bothers me, so I just dimmed them down a little bit. And uh, But you can really see them good in the sun. So we've got water pressure, water temp, oil pressure, and a tech. That's all the gauges I'm using this year. If I would have had this water pressure gauge, that would have saved one motor. At least one. At least one. So we'll dig into that farther on down the line and in a future video showing you how to set that up and install it with our radiator. Water temp, that's obvious, and oil pressure. And you don't have to have a tech, but we're going to run one. Because we're going to take this baby right here, and we're going to put it all the way down, just like that. And then it never lift. I doubt that. <laughs> And the next thing on the the next thing on the table here is a Joe's well, floorboard mounted gas pedal. They didn't have the footprint gas pedal in stock, but we'll take that. Close enough. Yeah. I've never ran one personally, but it feels like that would be more comfortable to me. So I'm gonna try it. And they they sell sell send this loose. So you can put any angle you want when you get that through your firewall, because most of the guys' firewalls here are not straight to the driver. You see how that angled up? So you put that where you want and you weld her up. It comes with all the rods and uh, the, oh my God, my throttle pedal stuck 9,000 to take it off there. Springs, rods, stuff like that. Oh, and this one here, I guarantee we'll get done today. That is going to brace up our pull bar mount from there to here, okay? So let's get, let's get busy here. Let's get you set up. We'll start with that. We'll go easiest to hardest. By the way, while we're working here, we've got a TV in the shop. We're watching Dirt Vision. We're watching the World of Outlaws Late Models. That's Tanner English. And uh, that, <laughs> that probably really slows us down a lot. We probably ought to not watch this, but it, it's happening. Yeah, it's motivation, right? And then there's also modified zone on flow racing. So we'll bounce back and forth between the two and see, but B's over here, you got that baby lined up. Now that's a Weir's machine. This is actually a clamp-on shock mount, like a two and a quarter inch drop shock mount that you would kind of run 
on it, the back of the car. It works for lots of things. But uh, it could be called a shock mount or it could be called a jack of all trades. The thingamajigger holder. The thingamajigger holder. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right there. So you see that? Same deal. And that holds that. We're going to do the same thing with this baby. That's just extra support. Use what you got. And that, they're really not that expensive. You know? So, and if you buy it once and you got it on there. And if you don't want to leave it on there and you sell your car, take it with you. Okay. Well, there's one. Now we just got two more things. Yeah, you know, I just said we was going to mount that. I didn't say he was going to finish it. We are going to mount that. That's, that's now mounted. So, probably you pick. Flow boat, gas pedal, or gauges? No, I'm going to take the panel off and get it for a little bit. It sounds like we're going to do the gas pedal then. Sure. We'll pull the gauges panel out and then we'll, we'll do the gas pedal. Okay. That's for our uh, northern friends. Salute your flag. I got my hat off, just in case you're wondering. B was had his hands full. Let's go racing. That's for our folks down here in the south. It's a little cold here, but I would yeah, I'd like to go watch some racing. You'll have to excuse our heater that just now kicked off, but it's like uh, 12 degrees and there's there's ice on the ground, and it was 60 yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. I just about busted it. So, if you don't like the weather in Missouri, wait till tomorrow. Yeah, it was uh, 66 yesterday. I had the doors open in here, blowing all the dirt out, and was had a sweat going with a short sleeve t shirt, which I still got on, but now I'm paying the electric bill. My next shop will have radiant heat and a wood stove. That's, this is not allowed in here. They wouldn't let me have it for the insurance with the style of the building. Just let me say that. Let me say that when the place burned down. How'd that burn down? I uh, I was smoking cigarettes in there and uh, changing the gas in my car. And, mm, yep. What about that cast iron wood stove over there? Mm -hmm. That was decorations. This was, yeah. Anyway, off topic. So we got our uh, gauge panel out here. Got that at Close Racing Supply. It's already custom fit. And I do like that they already got the center on those holes so you don't have to worry about getting your center line and we're gonna yeah we're gonna use a two and a half inch hole saw and hog it out which we got a 30 second around it right Doesn't that make sense yeah eighth says 16th 16 30 second yeah half the distance of the goal line yeah anyway so we'll do that second yeah hand it off to the short fast guy let's drag all this stuff over there by the way it's joe's not affiliated but maybe one day They'll hook us up. <laughs> and they see our flow boat, custom flow boat mount. They'll like it so much. All right, y'all. Let me bring this to your attention real quick. A lot of people ask me how I get sponsors on the channel. I've never really addressed it, but just saying that kind of reminded me. I, I forget a lot of this stuff. But um, the, the best and easiest thing for me to do is, uh, one, tell you to go over to the Kenny Wallace page and he'll tell you exactly how to get sponsors. Cause I just watched that the other day and it was actually pretty good. Did you watch that where he told you about? Yeah. So to sum it all up, you want to sell somebody a product, right? Well, how can you do that? Well, I can tell you how to do it. I hold a camera up and talk to you about it and show you how good I like it. And that sells product. So, that, that's what I do. Uh, it was in, 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 inadvertent because this whole thing was started up kind of for like a memory look back thing and it kind of blossomed into this deal where we get lots of support and we appreciate each and every one of our sponsors and we work hard for them, you know? So there's a good start. If, if you're looking to get into the vlogging and the video stuff, it can open some doors up for you. So food for thought, but let's get that jammed on. What do y'all think about them big block modifieds? Oh man, don't wreck, don't you do it. 
Them things are pretty freaking neat, really, if you look at them. I'd, I'd like to get in one of them babies. Pow! Anyway, oh, you, you got me sidetracked. Uh, found that squirrel over there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to crawl in there, but uh, that's gonna, we're gonna have to figure out exactly where I want that. I got my racing shoes on. Oh, you do too. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. I'm good enough. So, uh, yeah, these are, these are the new Hey Dude uh, race version. Here, that's that fire rated and everything. I'm gonna crawl in here and see exactly where we want that, and we're just gonna drill it and call it good. It ain't gotta be perfect, it's close. It's adjustable. Okay? Adjustable. Yeah. Now, see how close we get. Oh, that's pretty good. I don't know if the bolts are down or not. Well, you're asking a lot. I'll put it right here. Man, off my stuff. <laughs> Shouldn't have just ate. Inside, the easiest one to get to. <laughs> on it. I can lay it to it. Oh boy, can I? That's good enough. No, here's my brake. The main thing is I need that steering wheel. I can't even pretend if I ain't over on the two bucks. I actually like that floorboard mounted gas pedal. Kind of neat. Check this out. Pretty freaking cool. There you go. I got it straight up and down now, but it's fully adjustable. You can put it anywhere you want. I'm gonna go about right there. All right, you can put your heel back here. That, feel, that feels like it's supposed to. Feel like I'm in a video game. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. All right. We're one sixteenth of the way there. Let's mount some other stuff up. But yeah, I gotta say the best thing we put in this thing so far is that cup holder right there. Yeah. Huh? Okay, we're gonna install our, uh, my throttle's hung up, take her off for 9,000. He'd be sitting there racing. Oh my God, oh my God. See that? You pull her right back. Hung up, nope, not the thing. So that's why that's on there for you. You, you had to say that. Yes. No joke. Ain't lying. Just got a guest center. Okay, we got a mark here that you can't see, but I promise you there is. And uh, per the advice of one of you uh, fellers on the YouTube here, this is a Spring Tools. Brian called it a whipper snapper, but it's got carbide end on it, and you just pull this and see that spring action? Pow! That really, it really, it makes a really good mark. So, this will be my first time using it. I'm just guessing center. Oh, <laughs> I made two freaking marks. Anyway, right there. Works pretty good. Just don't, don't try to get over excited and... There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty dang nice. I like that a lot. Now I just gotta make sure I can get this drill in there. Boy. One of them double-ended drill bits would be neat. Uh, it better be broke off and really short. Can you see it? That is like 12 bucks. That thing will last forever. Gotta tighten that up. Put that in there. Let's see how close. And you know what? That's pretty good. Now drill this one all the way to grandma's. And then it, it's only seven eighths. And then this one here, we got, it's an inch. This thing here is really gonna eat. Oh, we got a beer in there, hang on. Okay. Golly. That's the Ferrari Testarossa. I mean, uh, that's a Lamborghini. Where's it? I don't know. 
Okay, that's a Ferrari Testarossa of drill pins. Lamborghini Countach. Yeah, and that'll eat your lunch. One step, just one. Better go easy. Right, the next step right there is one inch. <laughs> What's the matter? They're gonna fold you up. Oh, that's it right there. Yes, sir. Made it. Man, we make stuff look complicated, but it really ain't. <laughs> Where's that rat tail file out? Get them burrs off there. Well, I mean, everybody does the same stuff. You know they do. I know you do. <sighs> you know what? If you ain't having fun, then what are you doing? We're just here having a good old time. to make the hole too big so we got this baby here lined up and that's that is exactly one inch <laughs> I know that that working never did never claimed to oh boy ain't nope 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 I ain't doing it I'm going this way About okay, that's much more clean than the other ones. Okay, now let's slide that baby. I say we put it, we put it right there. Okay, time to get the welder out again. All right. How far you want it in? Half split the distance. You want halfway? I don't know. Well, no. Probably like right there. That's gonna be neat to weld. I have to weld it. That's gonna suck to weld there, bud. Let's just take this off. I'll just slide that whole thing off. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Contact. I forgot to turn that on. That is bright. <laughs> Idiot. Golly, I can't see nothing. I can't even tell you if I tacked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you One more time. Huh. I'll just take a second from up here. Contacting. Okay. You can see what we got there. I'm going to go weld that up. Got our Illinois boy leading the race. Oh, hammer, hammer time. He's, he's, he's leading against some pretty heavy hitters there, B. That's Dev Moran and, and Brian, or Brian. That's Brian Higgins. Dev Moran, Dev Moran. Don't even listen to me. Oh, and then we got caution. I mean, uh, loading. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. And we're gonna go now. Well, maybe Kyle Hammer will win this. Mm hmm. He probably has it now. Come on, guy. Jiminy Christmas. Must have been the Bray on the track getting off real quick while they're racing. Oh, is that what they're doing while they just in mid race there? Hmm. It's Paul that's not there picking the Bray up. Hmm. So that ought to be done cooling off in about half a second, right? It's about 12 degrees outside. Well, it is up there, yeah. So once we get that back, we'll cut. Oh, there we go. I hear it. Anyway, there's B Shep, Moran, and Kyle Hammer. We raced with him at Fairbury several times. But uh, he's doing good, running for Rookie of the Year, too. So, free to go. Oh, we closing in on him. Come on, Kyle. 
Just all need Kyle's win every heat race. Just be two for two right here. Gonna have to have a Kyle win. Oh, don't let it go. Don't let it go. He ain't gonna catch him through three and four. Nice. Good job, Kyle Hammer. <laughs> Good job. Now we got some mods going at Bubba. These guys, David Rudiman or Buddy? David. So, David Rudiman, leading her. Looks like a fun place. Yeah, they had the uh, MD3 plastic quarter panel on there. Wouldn't hurt it at all. Good luck with that. They should have hooked the bungee onto the back of him and hung on for the ride. He's trying to drive out away from the wheel. Garrett Stewart shuffled back into third, fourth. Jeff Parsons at number Looks like he's ain't got much traction in the track right now. A lot smaller than that Volusia they was just at. That's like a tiny track now. Look like he's running out of bull ring. Double zero, show them how it's done. Anyway, peace. Cooled off, where's it at? Yeah, yeah, it's plenty cool. Yes. So there we go. Got her welded up. Let's see how she fits. We're good. Say that is that just about perfect there, bud. Come on, buddy. ladies and gents we got that all lined out got her welded up like i showed you got this bar on here got it positioned we got our bar cut to length oh my goodness that was really painful and uh there you go now this gas pedal is fully adjustable that's just got a stop on it i can go down even more than that so i set this up to be close to level as i could because once you get to a certain point there it's going to want to go the other way and it ain't going to work so there we go next out of the way of my knee and everything else so then it goes over on this side and we can't really set that one up until we know where the you know motor's going to be and all that and i'd really like to use that krc quick disconnect jobber Ooh, this is this is true because you're losing mm. Mm, yeah dang it it's not an A, hey, not the end of the world. No, but they do. We do cut them down. We do cut them down. You saying we got to buy another one? Why that thing right there would be plenty. Why could you not put the little hunch on that? Well, I'm just talking about quick disconnect parts. Yes. Yeah, we need that. Well, you it may go on the top side. I'm sure I know it will. Right there. <laughs> what a rod. <laughs> a hot rod. Wow. Reach out and touch someone with that. Gauge time. All we got, Brian, all we got to do is drill them out, get them in there, put the panel in there, and that's done for today. Anything else is extra? Yeah, I mean, bonus points. Okay. We need bonus points. Yes. We're going to go over and drill that out. And uh, then we got to do a little hogging, but yeah, let's do that real quick. Oh boy. <laughs> How you like me now? Okay, got that all drilled out, ready to go. Got our four gauges figured out, and it just dawned on me that I've got five gauges. Check this out. What is this one? Well, folks, that is a digital brake bias gauge from Quick Car. Did you know they make those? Because I didn't. Um, there it is, 67-101 brake bias gauge with sending units so all into one and here's the best part about it there's no brake lines to run you run that sending unit right in there let me show you see those t's right there see that little yellow fitting right there ready 
Those sensors are going right there, run the wire, and you hook that gauge up and go. That's a freaking cool deal. Now the, this is dramatically smaller than this, so I think I'm gonna put it right here. I think it'll work right there. Right in the middle? Yeah. So we'll do some ciphering again. I got to cipher. Drill one more hole maybe, and then jam these in this pod and see what it looks like. Mustache too big? I didn't get that tight. Anyway, there we go. We got one in. Let's do FOMO. There we go. Got him in there. That turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Oh, got me in the arm, blow my arm, blow my up. All right, y'all. So let's go set this in the car. See what she looks like. Oh, there you go. There's our, that's my office, so to speak. I want to see them things lit up. You might be able to do that. But that's pretty freaking cool, guys. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, we went and done it. There we go. Got them all powered up. It's gonna be just right. I think that brake, brake bias gauge right there. Got the tack on this side. Oil pressure, water temp, water pressure. That one's not straight. I'm gonna OCD have to fix that. So yeah, gas pedal in. Nice, nice, nice stuff. Actually looks like we're making some sort of ground, doesn't it? Weird. Okay guys, well, I think that's gonna end it. It's already getting pretty late, so. I don't know what time it is, but I would assume 8.30 or nine. 8.43, out the twixt. All right, the twixt. Okay, I got something to put on here too. I got this from, from Kim for Valentine's Day. So, drive safe, we love you, Kim, Sienna, and Chase. I'm gonna put that, once I get everything done, I'm gonna stick it right there. They can ride with me. So that'd be pretty cool. All right, I guess that's gonna be it. Another day in the books. Our table's pretty much empty. We got one rod and an arm. I call that a win. We just lay two things on there at a time, we're bound to be able to get them on. Just two? Just two. Two at a time. We got a while Oh yeah. Well, I wasn't saying I could lay a motor up there. We need to get the motor in it before long. That way we can start jacking with this stuff. Yeah, rear end, we'll get that before long. I called him the other day. So that'll be here soon. Um, when we get the motor in there, we can get the, the throttle rod ran, we get the transmission, bell housing, all that stuff on it, ready to go. Should have the drive shafts pretty soon. And get the brake line, actual little brake lines ran up here. Get all that done. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do a little more welding, but I got this, uh, these two pieces here from A and A Manufacturing. But I, I got, I got something to ask y'all and you too, B. So this one here is a little shorter. It's not as tall as this one. And this one here is a little heavier. So what do you guys think? That you're gonna weld on right here on this tube. And I got my center line mark for where the shock's gonna be. What do you think? Weld on the shorter, thinner one? This one's a little more proud. Weld it on. The more beefy, twice the thickness, or close to twice the thickness. What do you think? I'll have to see the shock length and all that. Huh? What are you growling about? Ain't nobody here. Well, I just remember we broke a shock mount before on a yes, different lower. Um, Not much taller. Maybe a 16th. I like yeah. the heavy one. That's I like the heavy one too. We've well, we got room for it, yes. There's no no problems. Right here, center. Center of that bolt. Just like that. So you got plenty of room. Ain't nothing going to hit there. So you guys comment down below and you tell me. Should I run the heavy one or should I run the thin, thinner one? Not worry about it breaking or get a little bit more... You ain't really got to worry about clearance, so tell me. You tell me. 
Okay, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna wrap it up and go in and finish watching some racing on Dirt Vision and Flow Racing and uh, get ready for a weekend of more building. It's gonna be pretty nice this weekend out here. 60 degrees Sunday. What? It's almost 70. What? Yeah. It's 12 right now. I know, it's like single digits, but it's going to be summer weather. We'll be probably going to go swimming or something. Short legged bridge? Yeah, I like to go crappie fishing. And I'm pretty sure I know the guy that's going. So maybe we'll make that work. I don't know. Uh, did I show you the shock over here? How it's set in there? It's pretty neat. It's going to be, I got to get my mount on there, but there's our Leary shocks by AFCO, or AFCO shocks by Leary, shock technology. But that gives us plenty of room around that. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so let me turn my master switch off. There we go. <laughs> progress. I like progress. Guys, we appreciate you. Comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts. Uh, don't forget check out that patreon page if you guys are interested in that we're gonna do some more stuff on that like I said some post and pre-race check-ins and and shooting the breeze and then uh, some live shop stuff too so it's gonna be focused on some live videos um, give you guys a little bit more there and it supports us so like I said plans starting at five bucks a month there uh, shop old number seven garage if you want to get our latest stickers We've got a few hats left um raceranchwear.com slash tim nash for the shirts or in the latest shirts and stay tuned for a shirt drop on this throwback wrap which you'll see really soon all right with all that being said we really appreciate all the love and support you guys give us we couldn't do it without you and we will see you on the next one